Welcome to the Pilgrim's Project. Hey people, it's the Pilgrim and welcome to Vulgaro. This is top five base locations, all the best big flat building spots. This first spot is in the west, uh, just on the edge of the tundra. See there, you've got a bit of a cliff surrounding it and things to build on. That's what it looked like before I started clearing the area out. Then you're looking at around 4408 on the map. You see the blue obelisk from here, give you a bit of perspective where it is. Like I said, it's against like the west side of the, the map. And once you've cleared all the trees and rocks out of the way, you can get like 80 across the foundations from like this right hand side down to the other end. And between 35 and 45 across the middle, you've got a little more down at that bottom end. Um, yeah, and about 35 coming back up towards this, this sort of narrower end. But it's a pretty decent space that for a massive base, you can get some decent walls around it. Be a good spot for a castle as well, being up on the mountains. It's like a proper commanding view of almost the entire map there as well. You've got water nearby, plenty of stone but there's not much wood resources in this area. So those two small cliff sections on the right, you can get up onto them. Probably good for like cliff platforms or towers or something like that. But anything sort of beyond that is the border wall. So if you're coming to look like to defend the place, uh, you've pretty much surrounded on two sides there uh, it's not too bad that area the whole place is like completely flat as well from the cliff face out and then as you get to the edge of this sort of plateau bit it curves off down down into the valley there's only two ways up here as well right next one right with this spot we're going into the northwest corner of the snow biome so it's like top left hand corner of the map and we're around 15.6 uh, 04 oh, on the cards that's where it was like before I cleared it again and I cleared it all out and this is a really huge place um, yeah you're virtually right next to the blue obelisk there you can go further right from where I started putting these foundations in and it slightly curves up see that so the foundations are a little bit higher than the others but this whole area from like here onwards is completely flat there's a small ridge just near the tree but you can build through that it doesn't make much difference and the good thing about this is it's got a giant redwood right in the center so you can have a full um, redwood tree house inside your base and you can get all the walls around there you've got wood stone there's metal i've seen some crystal and oil deposits as well not far from here um, and there's a river just on your right hand side bit of a lake yeah so it's 103 foundations long to this point and then it went on another 35 foundations and I was about 50 foundations across on the other end coming up towards the redwood and it was about 35 foundations across at the smaller end see this whole section here is pretty flat as well I think this is one of the best spots really if you got get to the point where you're okay you know living up in the snow biome I'd definitely try this place out There you go, so that's near the blue obelisk and you're in the snow biome. Right, next one. Right, for this next location we're going right to the east side of the map uh, into the jungle biome. We're going to be at around 4608 um, to 94.5. There you go. Didn't have to clear this spot out, I'll show you. Bit of different, bit smaller than the others. Basically this whole, sort of a lake, you say pond, area is completely flat underneath so when you put your foundations down they come to just above the waterline it's probably set up it's just a perfect little builder's spot you know if you're going to build like maybe a cabin or if you want to build docks or something like that you know like a little fishing town or i don't know anything like that really it does curve up quite a bit at the edges you can't just carry the foundation straight out of the water but it is a really nice spot deep in the jungle as well like right right off the beaten track you see there don't matter where you put the foundations down on that section you come like i said just to above the waterline beautiful little spot as well and the sort of dimensions of that area were the longest foundation could get down was about 36 across that's from the far left to the right where we just took off from and it was between 25 and 30 wide at its widest point 
you see just over from the green obelisk. Yeah, you're about as far east as east goes on this side. There you go, next one. Okay, this spot's in the White Cliffs area and it's what southeast bottom right hand corner of your map. There it is before I cleared it out. The card and the cards are 97.581.0. And there it is. A little bit skewed the foundations are put down there, but I did it in two sections. So you're right up against the barrier here. So if you're looking for maybe a PvP area where you've got like a basically one part of your base is unflankable so you can put all your defences around one side, it's a really good spot. You've got like that cliff face behind you and the cliff face on the right hand side there as well. This flat spot's got a bit of a curve to it down one side so it varies the, the width of it but everything from like the cliff face onwards is flat up to this big rock here which I tried and you can't get cliff platforms on so I might mention that see if you can do it pretty cool place to have them but all this area is flat as well and what I like about this if you've ever played on Crystal Isles you had these gravel paths running through everything you can see them when you're in the jungle and everywhere else and they always seem to lead to like a bit of a plateau or a, a decent area for a base and if you're into like the PvE side of the, the, the game you can build your bases so they sort of line up with these little pathways it just looks really cool yeah, those parts of the cliff are out of bounds, but you can still get some platforms on over on this section here. Foundations go down okay. But anything you try along this side, I think it starts to clip into the barrier, so you can't do that. Uh, dimensions for this were about 56 long from the cliff face to just past the boulder, and anywhere from 35 to 40 wide. So it's, again, it's a really nice area. You can get a decent wall built from one cliff face and then curve it round that boulder to the other and yeah I think it'd be a really decent decent spot to live at right near all the new spawns for the new dino and everything and there we go good resources as well right next one okay last spot we're in the south um, in the redwood area and it's just near the border of the tundra didn't need much clearing out this spot to be honest just cut down a few of them small trees and we're around 97.6 47.0 this isn't the, the most massive place but it was about the best spot that I did find in the redwood forest that was relatively high up so you didn't have things falling off cliffs and you know landing in the middle of your base and um, yeah it was a decent a decent enough flat spot about the same size as the little pond we found and there's plenty of spaces to put extra cliff platforms down as well which I liked got places to put all your flyers and stuff around the area and there's a couple of big redwoods right nearby and there's also just above you there's another small cliff platform and then it's the actual edge of the map so pretty much safe up here uh, resource wise you've got everything these metal nodes uh, wood rock everything you're pretty much going to need except water's a little far away you'd have to run some pipes up through the forest but it's not the end of the world that and it's a good little spot as well it does curve up off to the side a little bit and just on the right hand side there is like a pile of leaves but the uh, foundations just cut right through them it's still flat it doesn't like stop you putting them down or anything and you've got one way in on that left hand side there as well it's like a little pathway coming up and yeah like i said this couple of redwoods there you can build on so it's a nice spot that if you like living in the redwoods but I think all in all, my favourite spot on this map up to now has been the jungle. Just it is really dense and dark once you're in there, and it's going to be pretty cool. Some good ambushes and stuff. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so there we have the first few decent big flat spots I've found for building on. I'm sure these others, definitely sure. I've still got quite a bit of ground to cover. Um, I've not been underground yet either, to be honest. But I'm really enjoying the whole map, it's beautiful. I just love the way the biomes blend into each other as well and that whole sort of bright, you know, sort of green area in the middle of the lake. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. Actually, I was thinking of doing a couple more videos as well. I might do one for like defensive places where the terrain lets you sort of build a base that's really defendable and maybe just a really good spot for like PvE builders to build where it's like more 
or just a beautiful bit of scenery or something. Just do a few more videos like this really, see how it goes down. Um, so yeah, if you think that's a good idea, just leave us a comment or tell us what you'd like to see. Right guys, uh, check out the rest of the channel and oh crap, we've run over 10 minutes. I didn't do that on purpose for ad revenue or anything. Um, yeah, so thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing and commenting and yeah, I'll catch you later. Thanks very much for watching.